Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This will be a four card spread for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Having a look to see how your love interest feels about you. This might be someone you're talking to, someone you're dating, hoping to date, um, an ex, a spouse, etc. Um, hopefully this will be telling of how they're currently feeling about what it is that you share together. Uh, please remember this is a general reading and to please interpret the messages as you see fit. I really do appreciate you joining me here, Aries. So thanks so much in advance. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like, a share, or a subscribe. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up um, for Aries. How do they feel? Love Tarot. Okay, some very significant epiphanies going to be happening around this person. Uh, there's going to be a lot of realizations around you and around your connection in the month of March. Um, powerful epiphanies, realizations, and messages are coming in for this person with the High Priestess. Now, she's the prophetess. She's the seer. She's got a very intuitive energy. So there could be someone here who feels like they're tapping into your vibration, tapping into your vibe, or really becoming in tune with your feelings. There's someone who feels very spiritually connected and or bonded to you. Um, the High Priestess is a very deep spiritual um, and, and bond uh, bonding energy. She represents a lot of bondship and a lot of power. The black and the white pillars could definitely symbolize divine masculine and divine feminine coming together. So there's someone who's feeling very strong vibes from you. So if you're wanting to reconnect, if you're feeling a certain way, if you're wanting them to act a certain way, they're getting a lot of this. Now, it could be subconscious or it could be conscious. They may be getting these messages through nonverbal cues, premonitions, um, and energy. So they might not be aware of it, but they may be coming into this sort of spiritual energy, I feel, um, especially with that Seven of Cups. There's a lot of emotional turmoil. This person is thinking a lot about you, Aries. There's definitely a lot of fantasy um, visualization that's happening around you, especially for the future. The Hierophant is all about um, exclusivity, marriage, tradition, ceremonial. Um, there's someone who really respects you. There's a lot of respect and idolatry here, Aries. Um, you know, the monks look to the Pope, the Vicar of Christ here. Um, and there's such a dedication uh, and, and reverence here. So there's someone definitely placing you on a pedestal here, Aries. There's a lot of respect that you're earning from this person. There could also be there a lot of admiration that's growing and growing and growing. Now, for a lot of you, this person isn't realizing how they're feeling for you. I think I've tapped into someone here who maybe you weren't really connected with, or maybe you were married or in a long distance, uh, or in a, a relationship once upon a time. Um, but I feel like it's someone who's going to realize how they finally feel. Realize that they love you. Realize that they want you a part of their future. Realize that they want to get married. Realize that you would be an ideal mate, a, a husband, a wife, um, someone that they're looking for. The Hierophant is all about tradition and tradition is embedded in us. So I feel like this person wants to be familiar with you. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, which is Venus. So if this person has Taurian energy, um, they want to go steady. They want to be serious. They want to offer loyalty. Um, Venus is the goddess of love and romance and eroticism here, Aries. So you're evoking a lot of these powerful Venus energy around this person. So um, they, someone finally realizing how they feel about you and that shift. It's all about divine timing here, the wheel of fortune here, um, prosperity and energy and luck and serendipity and an improvement. So I feel like someone's emotions are really growing for you in a powerful way, Aries. It could also be that there's something about divine timing, and I definitely feel like March is a month of revelations for a lot of Aryan love interests, exes, spouses, people that you're trying to connect with. So they could be having a lot of epiphanies, or um, they finally realize how they feel. You know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about things coming to full circle. Venus energy is very steady. Um, so with that Seven of Cups and the High Priestess here, I definitely feel there's some sort of acknowledgement. Um, the priestess holds the Torah and the significance here is the Torah, um, you know, it, it's the pre, it's preaching the word of God in, in, in Jewish, uh, in, in Jewish history, in Jewish scripture. So it's a very powerful and influential text. It also teaches us a lot about, 
you know, the instruction of God, of our con the con conduction of our lives and commandments and things. So what she holds is very, very valuable knowledge. And I feel like there's a lot of knowledge or emotions coming to this person about you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are being proposed to while you're having the marriage talk, the commitment, the moving in, that, that sort of um, ownership and change in the physical realm because that's what the Hierophant slash Taurus energy can represent. So for some of you, that's definitely happening here. Um, there's someone who potentially wants to move away from that devil energy. You see the devil here and come into the mighty, powerful and um, influential Sphinx. So there's someone here who wants to move past a certain situation. You know, and the devil can be fate, the devil can be ambiguity, the devil can be addiction. So if you've sort of had these things um, that have impacted your relationship, there's someone feeling like they want to move past it or they want to move past it with you and, and sort of move past all the toxic energy or the arguments or things that prevented your relationship from flourishing in a healthy way. So again, a lot of ideology, the Hierophant represents ideas, it represents structures, it's conformity, uh, it's consistency and this is very powerful because in one way Aries this is what someone wants to create with you and some very powerful major arcana cards show that there's a lot of epiphanies and feelings that are finally going to come to this person so it could be that they're finally having revelations and they're finally coming into clarity about how they really feel. I don't know if it's been distance apart. I don't know if you've been un emotionally unsure. I don't know if it's something about the timing. Other things could be happening in their life um, that's making them really appreciate what they have, including you. And maybe these sorts of realizations. I mean, they often tend to have these sort of epiphanies, often tend to have in at very uh, during very adverse periods of our lives um, where our perception is changed because something very huge at least on an emotional level changes how we see things and how we appreciate things so although it might be an exterior factor to what's happening between the two of you i think it's giving this per person the push in the right direction um, and for them to really acknowledge how they feel or have those epiphanies those realizations they're definitely coming into that knowledge they're coming full circle so you know if you've been trying to convince or persuade someone of something i think they're going to come around Either they're going to come back around, they're going to be convinced, they're going to see your point of view. Um, again, the Hierophant is influence. And I feel like this person feels very drawn towards you in a Venus-like energy, which would, in fact, indicate those revelations. Remember, a lot of intuitive spiritual energy um, around this person, I feel. And the fact that the black and white pillars are here, the High Priestess, uh, she has the pomegranate fruit, which rule new life, whether this is the creation of a family. This could be someone who you have a family with, maybe. Um, it could be someone who is wanting those sorts of things with you, or they're finally ga gaining clarity. Um, and that's a very strong bond. There's something about this person wanting to introduce you to a very intimate part of their lives, Aries which would show just how serious they are. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is here. It's, I think it's an auspicious sign about how this person is feeling. But they need to know it's reciprocated because there's two keys here, two pillars here, uh, two pillars here. So I think they need to see that you are in this with them because it takes two keys to unlock these gates. So they need to see that you're on board. They need to see if you have had that emotionally scattered energy, if you've been the one exhibiting this sort of energy or behavior, this person needs to see, needs that clarity. And if you are the one to show them that or to uh, tell them that, maybe that's what's going to be the catalyst for that revelation. Maybe that's going to really solidify their feelings for you, your actions, your words. It's definitely going to have a domino effect. Everything will happen how it's supposed to happen. Everything will align in perfect cosmic order here i think in terms of this connection so that's quite a powerful reading here aries but i do hope you have enjoyed it uh, thank you again so much for tuning in if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to leave behind a like a share or a subscribe that would be very much appreciated otherwise i hope to catch you soon